How's it going guys? My name is Griff. I'm normally a touring musician, but today I'm going to do a bit of a tour of my chicken coop. Um, I have fallen in love with caretaking for chickens, collecting eggs, and just being a chicken dad. It's been amazing. So you can do it too. It's pretty simple, especially if you're on a budget. Um, you can make something for little to no money. And I live in a pretty suburban little area here. So I don't have a ton of room, and I also didn't want to spend a ton of money. So it's possible, and I'm going to kind of show you guys what I've done. For starters, the most important part of this video is about these three chickens. This is Lil' Kim, Queen Elizabeth, and 41. And uh, I got them for $20 each, about an hour away from where I live on the coast here in Oregon. So the first thing that I built was their coop. And I made it pretty simple. I took four logs and a bunch of scrap wood and two by sixes and screwed them all together. A lot of the wood was rotten, but um, it looked pretty, pretty janky, but I ended up getting these cedar shingles from the hardware store and that's what kind of made it look prettier, I guess I should say. So I used a plastic roof on this guy here and um, I feel like it was just really easy to work with. I've cut sheet metal before and it's a massive pain in the ass. So that's so why I use this stuff. And I actually, um, to access the coop easier and to get the eggs and clean in the morning and stuff, I just use these thumb screws and um, makes things really, really easy. I didn't want to have to deal with hatches or opening things up from the side and putting hinges in and things like that. Um, and the plastic's so easy to kind of manipulate and move. So made things really simple. So in the morning, I just open this up like this, and I grab my eggs and close it back up. I got this thing on Amazon. It was not expensive, maybe like $30, $40. But you plug it in, you add the time, and it's on a timer. So it opens in the morning and shuts at night to your desired time, and that makes things so easy when I need to go out of town or just want to sleep in or whatever. So that made things awesome. I put this... Um, sort of little run here. Um, the coop was inside them. The chickens had a problem getting on top of it and wanted to sleep on top of the coop. So put this little extension also just expands their, their run so much more. I just used really cheap chicken wire. I only got a handful of these steaks and I feel like I could have used even less of the steaks. Um, this has been the most important part which is putting something on the top because they do know how to jump and fly and get out, so it also protects them from predators as well. And for the coop here, I staked everything down about every six inches so that they couldn't dig anything up or predators as well. Next, we have this pavilion. I'm here in the PNW, so it does rain quite a bit, but um, this thing was really cheap to make as well, and a lot of the stuff I just found laying around. I did have to go get some two by fours and um, some more of this plastic roofing, but. Other than that, incredibly cheap, and to make it look pretty, again, I just used some of those cedar shingles. I got this on clearance on Amazon, but this is a solar-powered security camera. There's not enough sun up here, so I did have to plug it in to the same outlet that I'm plugging my door into. But it makes things awesome, because when I'm on the road, I can check in on them, make sure they're all right, the door's opening, and uh, I've still got all three of them. So, security camera from Amazon. <laughs> 